Hi everyone! In this video I'm going to use my Cricut Mug Press with sublimation to create this super cute can holder. Before we get started, please take a moment to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos. If you'd like to follow me or learn more about the Cricut Mug Press, you can find more info in the description right under this video. So we're going to be doing a sublimation wrap on this can holder. Um, I got these from Crafty Corners Blanks in Toronto, in Ontario. I'm in Canada. Um, I'm sure you can find them around the US too, maybe JP Plus. There's several sites online where you can probably find these can holders. They fit a regular 355 ml can and I love them. I think they're really cute. So the top screws off, which is perfect. You don't want the plastic in your mug press. I imported this image to pages on my Mac. I flipped it so it would be mirrored and I sized it. I believe it was 9.86 by 3.2. On this one, I did 9.85. I could have done it a little wider for it to meet, but it's not too bad. And this is just for me, so I'm not too worried about if you can see the seam on the back. So we're going to line this up. You want to make sure it's really nice and tight. Get your seam as close as you can. That looks good. Just going to put a piece of tape there to hold it. And we'll work on pulling this tighter. Tight as you can. That doesn't look too bad. And the bottom. Move that out of the way. That doesn't look too, too bad. See, I could have cut it um, that little one-tenth of an inch longer so that it would really be flush. But I'm not too worried about it. It's for me. Okay, we're going to add more tape. Lots of tape to make sure it doesn't move while we're pressing. another one on there. I love these because they fit, um, they're about 3.15 inches or 3.2 inches. They fit beautifully in the Cricut mug press. I've cut this parchment paper, I'm sorry, I've cut this butcher paper at 10 and a half inches wide and I folded it three times so you have three layers. You don't want to use parchment paper. It contains silicone and it doesn't absorb moisture the way butcher paper does. So you definitely want to be using butcher paper. Tape that on there. Get it on nice and tight. And now we'll go around the bottom make sure everything is taped on so it doesn't move. That feels good. feels good. We could tape around the top. It's not 100% necessary though, but we could. We won't be flipping it over or anything, so it's not like we're going to disturb the top. 
but we could add some tape to it just to hold it nice and tight and I do like tape <laughs> so this can be done for sure if you want to okay you're going to need a heat resistant glove because obviously there's no handle on this so you'll need to um, physically lift it out and you don't want to do that with your bare hands a little more tape to keep it in place okay so I'm going to press it 90 seconds with the seam facing towards me and then I'm going to turn it around and press it for 90 seconds more I'm going to use my Alexa to time it but you can use your phone or your watch or whatever you prefer to use to time it so let's put that in the seam is facing towards me I'll close it Alexa timer 90 seconds We're going to have to let it cool when it's finished because um, it is stainless, so it is going to be very, very hot. Alexa, dismiss. We'll pop that open. One minute and 30 timer stops We're going to turn it around now with that seam facing in. And close it again. Alexa, set a timer for 90 seconds. One minute and 30 seconds, starting now. I got this glove on Amazon. I just bought a single. They sell them in singles or in pairs, but I thought a single would be fine so far. I haven't needed a second one, so I guess we're good with one. You saw the lights jump on the press because it's stainless it gets very hot so the press believes that it's been in longer and it adjusts the time alexa dismiss there we go so now we're just going to let this cool and then we'll remove our wrapping and we'll see the product i neglected to mention that before i started this video I cleaned my surface on this can holder with a lint roller and then I buffed it with a lint-free cloth t-shirt material to make sure that there wasn't any, weren't any um, fingerprints or lint on it. You don't want to have it, you don't want to be pressing into fingerprints. So this has cooled down enough for us to unwrap it and see what we've done. I always like this part. It's like unwrapping a Christmas present. I'm gonna break that. There we go, lots of tape. I definitely used a lot of tape. Okay. Get that out of the way. And now we'll unwrap the sublimation paper. I don't want to scratch the mug. That worked. Got it. Oh, isn't that cute? See, I could have done it a little tighter, but it's not a problem. It's still really adorable. And this one is for me, so I'm not going to stress over that.
Isn't that terrific? I love it. It's really, really cute. And we'll put the lid back on. On these, you put your tin in first and then the lid. You probably know that already. And I ordered stainless straws to go with it. Reusable stainless straws. Isn't that adorable? I love how it turned out. Really, really cute. It says summer and it's all colorful and pretty. I hope this video will help you to use sublimation or infusible ink with your Cricut Mug Press. Thank you for watching.